and welcome to the River Tuesday and doing a quick review um, with the cicadas in the background in amongst Venice and as the seagulls fly over for a series called The Resort. It's uh, on Sky or now in the UK, it's uh, but Peacock original. There are eight episodes, about 35 minutes apiece. And I just wanted to flag it up for people because I think it's probably one of the most entertaining series I've seen this year. I'm trying to think of a better series, more entertaining. If you go to Apple's original TV series, there's some of that quality, but this is one that I had the most fun with. Quick synopsis. Basically, it's about a couple that go on a holiday to, to a resort and they pick up investigation of a couple of kids that go missing. The one woman who really wants to find out what happens to them leads them down a detective adventure story. Now each episode is 35 minutes but it does leave you wanting to watch the next episode but when the episodes drop they drop in the first four episodes and then it's weekly and I think you do need to stick out and watch the first four episodes to really get to grips with what they're doing with the story. It's from the creators of um, Palm Springs so that gives you an idea of what they're going for but I think the acting is fantastic. It does swap and change between two timelines. So we see what happened to the kids. It kind of goes in uh, conjunction with each other. So we follow this couple that are going through their own hardships. We follow some people that are working with the hotel. And we follow a kind of crazy dude uh, who has memory issues. And as those storylines intertwine, we get to be the detective or the fly on the wall with them as they're trying to investigate what's going on and what happened to the kids. It all kind of centers around a hurricane that happened one time. I do think it finishes off fantastically. Some people are going to be asking themselves questions uh, like I did myself. It finishes off well, but it also leaves you going, but wait a minute, how did that happen? But what about these things? So it kind of leaves a few things in the air, but mostly the big arc is, um, is satisfied. There is this fruition to the story. So between the score, the sound, uh, the sound, I think, which was great for adventures, it definitely feels like an adventure latter later on in the series. First is you get a kind of drama, they're working on their relationship, there's things going wrong, you get a little bit of sense of everybody has something to work out, but then it gets into the real crux of the story was a bit timey-wimey, uh, which I really loved. So let me know in the comments below, have you heard of this? Is this on your radar list? Peacock is not really a channel that I know a lot of people subscribe to because there aren't many great original content for, from my perspective on there anyway. But this is one I think you're gonna need to watch. I'm giving this five Nicholas Cages out of five. I'm gonna wrap up this review quick because my wife is recording and her shoulder is probably in pain. Uh, but let me know your thoughts on this one. I'm very much looking forward to the comments of this. Don't forget to check out our other uh, content that we got on there at the moment. Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, love on Tuesday.